Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Srikant and today we will be solving this problem of algorithm, algorithmic crush. So uh, we are given a list of a size n initialized with zeros. We have to perform m operations on the list and output the maximum of final values on all the n elements in the list. For every operation you are given three integers a, b and k and you have to add value k to all the elements ranging from index a to b both inclusive ok so the input format will be there will be two integers n and m separated by a single space first line uh, n is the number of items in the list and m is the number of queries ok of uh, type a comma b and c which is the lower limit and upper limit and the value to be added to each entry ok uh, so uh, we have to find the maximum after all these query uh, updates to the list say let's look at the sample example we are given uh, five items in the array and there are three queries and uh, the queries are like from 1 to 2 we have to add 100 from 2 to 5 we have to ha add 100 and from 3 to 4 we have to add 100 let's uh, try to uh, step through this uh, example so we are given uh, so the array is indexed from uh, 1 ok so initially the array contains all zeros now after the first query uh, in the position 1 and 2 100 should be added ok after second query from position 2 to position 5 100 should be added so now the array becomes 100 200 100 100 100 now uh, in the next query 3 to 4 from uh, position 3 to position 4 uh, 100 should be added so here we again uh, add 100 100 ok position 3 and 4 so finally the array is this one so if we produce a novice algorithm which like simply does for every query uh, adds this uh, integer value to the range of numbers uh, and we try to find the maximum of this uh, range we will get a timeout ok so uh, to uh, do it in a better way what we will do is instead of adding the value k to all the uh, elements uh, in the range what we will do is uh, we will do like this uh, we will add the k to the f uh, left, left hand sublimit ok and then we will subtract the k from the element next to the right hand sublimit why we are doing this the reason is uh, we can use a thing called as prefix sum to get the actual uh, array after all the operations for example uh, see this in after this first uh, addition uh, what we will do is uh, in position 1 we will add 100 and in position 3 we will subtract 100 basically the idea is that uh, we have to add all the uh, 100 to all these elements right before uh, index 3 so uh, uh, so once uh, 1 is added here and we keep on summing from all the values from uh, 1 to uh, 3 not including 3 then uh, for every element we should get 100 ok the only way to get is uh, if we this is 100 then now this element will be equal to this element plus this element ok now this element will be equal to this element plus this element so this uh, this would in the end of uh, the adding the uh, array elements that is calculating the prefix sum here we should get a 0 that's why we are subtracting minus uh, we are keeping this element as minus 100 so from here onwards this 100 will not be counted ok so this query only this 100 will be counted for these two uh, elements and not for the rest of the elements in the sum ok I hope I made my point clear let's uh, further look uh, in the next query from 2 to 5 we have to add 100 so uh, this should be easy. yeah uh, oh no this should be 100 so in the element 2 we have to add 100 ok initially it was 0 we have now added 100 so from now onwards 100 should be counted in all the elements up till index 5 ok 
and less than index 6 so index should 6 should be minus 100 but since it is out of bounds we do not have to uh, subtract uh, minus 100 from this element okay since the array is only of 5 elements no need to do this subtraction here again from index 3 to 4 we have to add 100 right so in only index 3 we have, will add 100 okay and we will subtract 100 from index 5 so index 5 is subtracted um, 100 and index uh, 3 has to be added 100 so it was earlier minus 100 when you add 100 it becomes 0 okay so this is the fi final out uh, after uh, uh, final position after all the queries have been done okay this is the uh, value of the array value of elements in each array each element okay in the array now once we do prefix sum this will be 100 only from now uh, since index 2 uh, index 2 will be equal to uh, value at index 2 will be is equal to the value at index 1 and it itself okay so this will be a of i minus 1 plus a of i is equal to 200 so this will be 0 plus 200 that is 200 this will be also 0 plus 200 okay this element plus this element think of like this like this now this will be minus 100 plus 200 is equal to 100 okay now uh, we will start coding this uh, since the values can be quite large will we better uh, use a long long type def long long l l okay l l uh, left sublimit uh, number of elements in the array uh, number of queries left sublimit right sublimit uh, k and uh, sum is equal to 0 comma max now we have to take the inputs right so for in i equal to 0 i less than uh, n i plus plus so instead of 0 we have since the array is indexed from 1 we will start from 1 and go up till n and we will make an array that is a vector of long long uh, of size n plus 1 okay so that the zero, 0 8 index element we will lose okay now uh, before this we have to take input n and m okay now we have to see in ar of i so this will start from index 1 and go up till index n okay after doing this we have to take the queries and calculate this uh, array that we have discussed okay like this so what we will do is for int i equal to 1 i less than equal to m i plus plus uh, c in l r and k after this what we will do is we will simply make arr of l is equal plus is equal to k and if uh, r is less than equal to n then only we will make arr of r plus 1 minus is equal to k okay so this will create this array after all the queries fine now what we will do is we have to find the prefix sum right int i equal to 1 i less than equal to n i plus plus uh, 
we have to start from uh, index 2 since index 1 will be same as the element ok uh, so and uh, we will make max is equal to arr of i sorry 0 no 1 fine sum plus is equal to arr of i ok and if also we have to make sum is equal to arr of 1 fine if max is less than sum then sum is equal to sum, max is equal to sum ok so while calculating only this uh, prefix sum we are assigning the maximum also ok after this what we will do is we have to simply print the maximum value fine mm, yeah let's try to run this sample test case sample test case let's submit the board and uh, see if all the test cases pass so all the test cases have passed successfully hope you like watching this video uh, please share the video with your friends and uh, anyone who can be benefited from this uh, thanks for watching if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel please subscribe uh, to the youtube channel for more such videos thank you very much